This morning we're going to start the push button LED ignition switch process, which is a little daunting just because I have to take this harness and cut that. And I really am terrified to do that, but um, I have a little faith in DK Customs because everything else I've done with them has been pretty rock solid. So right now I'm just reading the instructions for the uh, campus adapter for the later model Sportster uh, in conjunction with the push button LED uh, switch instructions. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Taking off this back nut. The instructions say that it might not fit and that you might have to do some filing. Uh. All right, so I filed down the hole and I took my time. I used a Husky utility knife just to do that. I tried to squeeze it in there a few times and when I got to a, I didn't want it to be loose. I didn't want to over file that. So I got to a good snug fit and then I was able to push it in, get it started and then I just used the weight, push down. So it's in there now. I'll take this nut, feed it in through the backside now. <clears throat> get it started and then grab some needle nose to finish it because my figure can't fit all the way in. So got the needle nose in there, tightened it all up. You know, it's not going to be super tight, but it's in there. A little bit of wear and tear uh, from filing around the edge here, but nothing more than what you would do with a key. All right, so now to the point of no return, I am gonna cut this about right here just because we got extra wire from that and then just in case I wanna reuse this. So at this point, turn back now so because the later models only have two wires that's why you have to buy the CAN bus adapter all right so it says that the white wire from the push button switch switch goes to the CAN bus adapter and then from the CAN bus adapter this white wire goes to the white and blue wire Interesting thing will be trying to hide all of this. So now, the red wire and the push button switch goes to the black and green wire. I really didn't have to strip any of these. I've never used polytaps before. Now I'm uh, going to get this F6 location tightened up. We have this ready to go. I just need to find a 12 volt fuel source because that black wire is not a ground. It powers the LED. Let go. There we go. That's nice and tight. Tight, tight, tight. Awesome, babe. So where to anchor the uh, F6 location is going to be right here. 
Now I'm getting that bolt off. I don't need to take off the ground, but I gotta actually come in with an extension on the other side. And so to actually get to that, I had the six, six, six inch extension with the six inch flex extension. I actually got to it really quickly and then while I was doing that, I just had my wife reach in and just catch the nut. And uh, now I'll go ahead and put that uh, F6 location on and worry about hiding everything and in a bit. But, uh, simple right there. I just got it hand started. Get these wires out of the way. I'm wondering if I should tape those now before. I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna tape these wires up now. Uh, just so they're a little protected and I can. Yeah, so I'm gonna tape them from here and just kind of protect this up about six inches and then, then I'll anchor it. So I'm, I'm actually gonna use electrical tape on this one um, just because it's a little bit finer, uh, thinner gauge wire and um, the space to hide everything is so much smaller that I want it to be as low profile and skinny as possible. Now, I know there's probably going to be some of you out there be like, well, push button start, no key. You know, how easy is that going to be for somebody to steal your bike? I did think about that, and the reality of the situation is I don't really leave my bike parked anywhere for long periods of time. Like, if I go to work uh, and I ride in, it's in a really safe spot, um, you know. So I'm not I'm not too worried about that, because uh, my bike is strictly a pleasure mobile. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's if I stop somewhere, you know, if I'm riding, I stop to get coffee. Like I sit outside, and it's just not not too big of a risk. Knock on wood. But uh, you can always lock the forks. You can always get a, a disc lock. So, and I, and, I, and I do. You know, when I go to work, I lock the forks. Um, and that's about where I'm gonna stop. Just because I still have to connect. I still have to connect the 12 volt somewhere. I actually think gonna loosely take this just to give it a little bit more protection inside from any kind of elements actually I lied one more just kind of trying to cover any of that ah, fuck good This is hilarious to me, but it works. So it's been a few days since I've worked on this thing. Um, I just had to come to a stopping point and then, you know, work and we're in camp now. So everything's been pretty busy. I literally come home and sleep and get up and do it again. And I got to go to work in a couple of hours. But what I want to make sure is that the, uh, push button LED starts it. I got everything hooked up before, I bundle it all up. Remember if this black wire that's connected to the push button LED, that's the hot wire for the LED ring around the button. Um, I'm, not, I'm not too worried about that right now. I just want to tape it up, 
just in case and I'm gonna put the fuse in and just see if it starts up make sure we're good there Lights went on. Good, so just gotta tidy it all up. Uh, so a few more things I got to do There's a couple of raw wires here for the rear turn signals that have been kind of rubbed rubbed raw here, so I got to tape those up and You know got to find a spot to mount this so the LED actually works But pretty good progress so far All right, so I need to find a fuse 12 volt wire to hook up to power the LED on the push button start so I got a circuit tester, grounded it to the fender, to the frame, and then just a quick test to make sure I'm grounded. I don't know if you guys can see that with the light, but the light lights up. So I'm gonna try and hook it up to the license plate light. So what I wanna do is locate that wire, unplug it, and Oh, there it is. So it's going to be this red and yellow wire. So I have to pop off the backing and pop that prong out of the stock clip. And then I'm going to cut this little protector down, cut that wire, and I'll probably use that three way posi, posi tap. And I'll run this black wire up that way. So I got where I need to hook it up to, where I'm going to be able to hide it. So now that I have that located, I'm going to go ahead and kill the accessories, unplug the main fuse again. That way I don't really jack up anything. Just cover that so we don't get any dust. Start cutting just this little safety wire, this little safety uh, Tubing. Cut that off. And this red and yellow wire right here. So, so I was being a bit of a dodo because this posi tap I have is a three way. I don't even need to cut that. All I have to do is just pop that in right here. <laughs> and that will pierce through and then all I have to do with this one is take my hot wire and run it through my, my posi tap like this and tighten that up and then just do the same here and screw this one on. I'm gonna put it a little further back, probably where I was gonna cut it. Well, it didn't penetrate through the wire like I wanted it to. So that's fine. I'm gonna actually have to do what I didn't want to do. All right, so I can't get that and I'm getting frustrated. So what I ended up doing was stripping around right here and if you can see that copper wire showing through so i was able to strip around and kind of pull apart so now what i'm gonna try and do is put that posi tap right through there and see if i get a connection hopefully that works and that solves all all right so we got that hooked in we'll go ahead and just see if we got some power to it obviously i didn't run that wire because i want to just make sure it's gonna work and i do that Got light right on there. That's exactly what we want. Solid. Solid. So, just so you get the full effect, 
you can barely see it there's a slight glow the red light is from the GoPro but there's a slight glow on that ring but as soon as I hit that accessory mode it's fired up